Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In this one, we're continuing Football Manager 2019. I'm bringing it back. Um, well, it never stopped actually. Um, I just didn't quite have the time to record an hour and a half worth of footage to then edit it down into a 20-30 minute video. So, we are looking at playing three games today just to get the show back on the road. Um, we are in still in december heading into january and if we quickly look at the transfers this is what we've got coming in so on the first of january we have timo horn coming in we have max power solidifying his transfer uh to the club we have uh ryan christie there at the end of the season coming in on a free transfer uh we've got uh lewis morgan coming in in january for uh 7.5 million anything up to 11 million We've got Che Adams coming in on the 1st of the 1st, 2019. Um, again, 1st of January, uh, 7.5 million. And Neil Mapai, again, 1st of January at 8 million. So we've got, you know, that good good few transfers there, um, especially if we look at the team. Um, and we've obviously realised that we need, you know, a couple, a couple of fresh faces, shall we say, um, to freshen the team up. So that's also... Um, what was I saying? It's like freshen the team or building a second team. Because if we quickly go to second team, you know that's kind of what we needed. Um, so I'm happy with that. You know, I'm happy with the transfers that we've brought in. Obviously, signing the new contract a few episodes ago and um, getting the funds that you know Stuart Donald promised us um, at the start of the season has helped. So moving into this episode, I'm moving. Quickly switch that back to first team. So yeah, getting back into this episode, jumping into the schedule quickly. Um, and last time out, we got beat one 0 off Tottenham at home in the Carabao Cup quarter final. Okay, that's 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 actually decent. Um, you can see this behind my head. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've got Portsmouth, Bradford City, and Shrewsbury in this episode. I'm only going to like I say, I'm only going to be doing three matches just to get this show back on the road. But. Uh, I do believe we have the Portsmouth match now, so yes we do. Three o'clock kickoff, it is first versus third. Ouch. And our form is the same. Okay, so we are sitting comfortably top by 14 points in League One. I'm perfectly fine with that. Again, going with the same team we always have. Um, and we will literally just jump straight into it. So, yeah, here, here it goes, bro. Oviedo with a free kick, whips it into the box. It's my job, but it's a good save by McGillivray. All right, 20 minutes in, we've only had that one highlight with a free kick, guys. Um, you know, it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. I'm keeping an eye on team performance. Everyone looks fine. Lugo 9's a bit tired. But it's coming up, like I say, it's coming up to half time with only the one highlight. And I'm a bit disappointed. So we've reached half time. It's nil nil. Okay, so we need to change that. Tell the team that their performance was disappointing. I intend to. Aggressive. I'm not happy with your performance. Jeremy Tolian appears to be demotivated. Why are you demotivated? Because you're all alive. Anyway, um, don't mind me. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So, Tolian's not happy. Like I care, but you know what? I need you to go out there and perform, boys. So, go do it. Oviedo with a free kick here on the edge of the box. Oviedo, what a free kick! What a free kick indeed. Right into the like sort of middle right. Um, it had enough power on it to beat the keeper. 1 0. I'll take that. 70th minute, going to make some substitutions. So Jeremy Tolian and Brian Oviedo are both on free, uh, both on a yellow card. And I've only really got one right back. Like one fullback on the bench, and that's Denver Hume. Um, I'm not keen on putting Flanagan at right back either. He's not exactly the quickest for a for a right back, but and he's 27. Holy shit! Um, I guess I'll do that. I'll put Hume at left back. I'll put Flanagan right back. Um. And um, I'll bring Bali Mumba on for Lugo 9, because why not? Just make all three subs. 
Coming into the final minute now, guys. Four minutes added on time. Doesn't look yet. What a boring game this has been. What an absolute boring game this has been. Final whistle, 1-0. All right, so Brian Oviedo's free kick is the decider. Um, looking through other results in the league today, if we quickly have a look at later scores. You know, Charlton picked up a 3-0 win there. Plymouth, 4-2. Shrewsbury, 4-2. So... I mean, I'm not that bothered. Obviously, we have a we do have a point lead at the top of the, at the top of League One. Um, but you know, I'm just going to say that they were poor. They looked fired up. All right, let's continue. But you know, it's it's not what we wanted. Barnsley win. Barnsley drew, and we won. So the point gap increases to 17 points. I'll take that. No, it doesn't increase to 16. I think. Hang on, 56. Yeah, 16. Okay. So we'll take that. Um, I don't think there's anything. Flanagan makes on debut. I didn't realise I hadn't played him yet. <laughs> I honestly didn't realise that I hadn't played him yet. By the way, guys, new microphone. New microphone. I need you to let me know what it sounds like um, over the game sound. You know, am I clear? Do I sound better? Um, you know, just, just all that rigmarole. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below, please. It would be greatly appreciated. All right, guys, and Sunderland versus Bradford City here at the Stadium of Light in League One on Boxing Day. So, could it be an early Christmas present or late Christmas present, I suppose, um, for the Sunderland fans to get three points here against Bradford City. Bradford City, who are 22nd in the table right now. So, we should, on paper, win this. Um, but, you know, don't count our chickens just yet because you never know what might happen. So... Again, same team as always until January, until we can get those players in. I do think we have one more match. We do Shrewsbury on the 29th, this, uh, on the 29th of December there. Before everyone here joins, um, obviously, transfer uh, transfer window opens January the 1st. Power, Morgan, Mapai, Adams and Horn join. And Power, um, not Power, Connor Shields' loan ends as well. So I might send him back out on loan. Um in January. Haven't quite decided yet. I might just let him fester in the under 23s, I think he's in. Uh yes he is. So yeah, I might just let I might just let him fester in the under 23s. Let him grow. Use the uh, let the coaches um you know bring him up and everything like that. So going with this team against Bradford City, 22nd in the table. Like I say, let's jump into it guys. Let's get three points. 25 minutes have been played and not a single highlight. This is becoming a recurring theme. Show some passion, boys. Lewis O'Brien here with a free kick. It's gone well wide. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, not too fussed with that one. But that's the only highlight of this half, guys. You know, we seem to be playing a bit lackluster. That's that's a free kick. That's a red. That is Kelvin Mella has been sent off for Bradford City. So that's the right back gone. So we could technically exploit that if we wanted to. You know. Um, Chris Maguire there getting down the wing. Maybe. But yeah, nil nil half time. Um disappointing performance, so I'm gonna get into them again. I'm gonna say, you know, get your arse into gear. Send them back out for the second half because I'm I'm not happy with that first half performance, guys. They're twenty second in the league. You know, they're they're obviously having a bad time of it. And we don't seem to be actually doing anything as far as, you know, creating chances is concerned. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna demand more and basically see what happens. McGeoch, Oviedo, Oviedo, into the bottom corner, Brian Oviedo on the right foot as well, on his weaker foot, just started to point that out, on his weaker foot, but Brian Oviedo there, um, cutting into the box, and getting shut off, so that's two and two for Brian Oviedo, Chris Maguire here with a free kick, swings it in, but O'Donnell's equal to it, but, I'm, um, you know what, that's alright, Oviedo's actually coming through, I, I might not get rid of him after all. So I was gonna, I was gonna look at a new left back um, at the end of the season. But if Oviedo is gonna keep putting in performances like that and keep pulling us um, back into the fray of things, then I'm, I'm okay with that. Will Grigg makes it two nil. Cross there from Oviedo. Who else? Um, you know. Uh, and Grigg wins the header. Keeper saves it originally, but you know that's that's fine. Baldwin there. Grigg. Baldwin, swing it back out, what more? Swing it back in. 
that was that was that was just a failure, wasn't it? Yep, that was just a failure. So yeah, we're two 0 up, guys. I'm happy with that now. I'm I'm actually happy. McGuire here with a corner. This is probably the longest unedited streak ever, but it's three 0 <laughs> and Will Craig has managed to double his tally for this match. Um, I'm happy with that. Like I say, I'm 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 genuinely happy with that. So I'll praise the boys. And we'll make some substitutions again. This is the long. This is probably a big unedited segment um, of you know the episode, but you know we'll take it. George Honeyman can come on there for Luke or nine. Um, no, he's not. Bolly Mumber is because I've just realised that George Honeyman is not a ball-winning midfielder. Bolly Mumber is. So McGeoch is on seventy-seven percent. Uh, what's Lyndon Gooch's vision is 13, he's short passing is 14, I'll bring Gooch on for McGeoch and let him be the deep lying playmaker, so I'm fine with that, we'll hit confirm on that, leave one sub just in case we get an injury and let's go, Maguire with the corner, swings it in, there's no one actually in the middle there, everyone else was on the outside of the box, Maguire swings it back in, that's a handball, it's a penalty, could it be a deliberate yellow card again? It is. It's a second red for Bradford City. That was a terrible penalty by... I think that was Will Grigg. It was. It was Will Grigg for the hat trick. He completely, he completely fluffed that penalty. Will Grigg into Gooch. Into what more? Into Oviedo. Into Maguire. 4-0. Beautiful. Good way to finish it off. Oviedo. Oviedo, mate. Just... <laughs> Oviedo, what a guy. What an absolute guy Brian Oviedo is. He's got, what, a goal and three assists in this game? Um, but we'll take it. 4 0 win against Bradford City, which is what, you know, what I eventually expected. So I'll just say a good win, lads. Uh, they're delighted with that. And let's continue on. But yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Brian Oviedo, like I say, getting, getting some assists there. Um, so, yeah, Brian, Brian Oviedo has been incredible, um, this, this episode already, you know, picking up two goals and three assists, so I'm happy with that, I'm very happy with that. Leuvens is now set to sign for Adio Den Haag over in the Dutch League, over in the Netherlands, so I'm happy with that. You know, 35-year-old centre-back. I don't need him. He is surplus two requirements. Um, I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, three of 6.2k, um, to be honest. So it's it's not a lot, but it's he's off our wage budget. Um, I can't remember what wages he was on. He was only on 4k wages. Um, but, you know, it's 4k that we don't really need to use. So I'm fine with that. Grimsby want to extend Elliot Embleton's loan. Um, until the end of the season, Grimsby feel that the player would become a valuable member of the first team, a contribution of 40% of Elm 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 Embleton's 3k per week wage will be paid during the duration of the player's stay. They have set a deadline for the 3rd of January for Sunderland's decision, so we will be paying 1.2k of his wages. Um, I'm okay with that, you know, I'm not currently using um, uh, Elliot Embleton, and he is kind of in my plans for the future. Um depending on how he grows. So I think I'm actually happy with that. I'll click accept offer on that one. Um, and we'll just leave it there. Denver Hume has come into the office and uh, he's letting us know that Lee Catamall doesn't see himself at the minute. I think he's struggling with being out of the team. So let's have a look at Catamall. I don't feel I'm getting enough football and I feel like my career is stagnating as a result. I need you to start picking me for the first team. I can do that. Now that McGeoch is happy with the amount of football that we're playing, um, that that we've given him, sorry, um, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy to give Cut more games. Um, Zagadu removed removed from shortlist. No, he's not. Um, Maja has improved, which is good, which is good, which is good, which is good. Uh, McGeady set to sign for Krasdenar. Accept. So that's 135k. Um, Transfer fee, but it's 16k off the wages, which is what we want, which is what we want. So that's McGeady gone. Um, so we do have, 
you know youngsters in the set, like in the twenty in the under twenty threes. He's out. Uh, what was that for? One two days. That's fine. But yeah, we've got you know we've got youngsters there sitting in the under twenty threes to fill McGeady's spot in the second team or the B team or the rotation team or whatever you want to call it. Um, for Jan- basically in January, so you know that that doesn't really bother us. You know, McGeady is 32, 33 and he was declining. So I'm not, you know, I'm not overly fussed about losing him to a Turkish team. Huh. PSG are contemplating a deal worth 7.25 million for Brian Oviedo. Okay. Um, preferably not. Thank you. Not, I mean, he's been playing absolutely fucking incredible lately, but I, I don't appreciate you, you know, wanting a, a bid in for him. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you to do that. Keep away from my left back, at least for now. All right, guys, and, um, shortlist of players nearing end of contract. Um, one of them is Divock Origi, and... Origi is a player that I've admired for a few years. Um, you know, I think he's full of potential. I think he's inc- he's an incredible little player. Um, and obviously, compared to League One standards, he's he's five star here on the left on the right hand side. Sorry, um, he is only twenty three year old. He's currently on loan to Milan from Liverpool, um, but he does have six months left on his contract, which is interesting. So I could what's his wage? Twenty seven k wage. Oh, can I contract offer? Can't make a contract offer. You must have a transfer offer accepted. Bollocks! But he's six months left on his contract. What is this shit? Oh my god. Um, I want to go in for Origi, but I don't like. I don't want to make an offer because I don't want to pay money for someone. That's gonna end up being their Fiorentina end of contract. I want this kid, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and maybe in January, we'll you know maybe we'll go for Origi. Uh, James Wilson there is another one from uh, Manchester United. Not really interested in him, but I was keeping an eye on him. Kazenga Lawala Wa is there as well. You know, he could be he could be decent for the championship next season. Um let me know what you think on Kazenga Lawala Wa as well. But if we quickly go back, Sunland contract set to ex- set to expire. I will do all these off camera. Um because you know I wanna keep Lyndon Gooch. Even I want to. Well, I I say I want to keep Lyndon Gooch, but he did say he wanted to be away. Um. So. I don't know. I mean, he like I say, he is wanted by Arsenal, Brighton, Everton, Huddersfield, West Ham, Wolves, Celtic, and Legans. But. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't. I, I really don't want to. I, I really don't want to lose Lyndon Gooch. I'm going to try and persuade him off camera to stay, um, and I will let you know what happens. All right, third and final game of the episode, guys, and we have Shrewsbury Town, who are 11th in League One. Um, Lyndon Gooch was adamant about leaving the club at the end of his contract, so there's nothing I can do about Gooch, unfortunately. Um, which is a bit disappointing because Gooch is actually a quality left mid. So, moving into the Shrewsbury game. And, again, same old team as always. I'm going to actually play Watmore, who is coming back from that tight thigh injury um, that you picked up earlier in the episode. But, I'm still going to stick with the team because, you know, January is literally around the corner. And then all those players come in and we can upgrade the team. We can, you know... Do all that stuff. So basically, yeah, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna get through the Shrewsbury game, and then we can quickly sort the team out in January. So yeah, let's get into it. Talion, Greg, what more down the wing? That's it. Keep running, keep running, Duncan. Josh Madja, and he's missed it, boys. First chance. He's warming up. He's just he's just warming up. You know, he's not exactly clinical yet. He's still a kid. 
35 minutes played, guys, and the magic chance is the only highlight that we've had. Again, seems to be a recurring theme um, of the episode right now, and I'm not liking it. Half time at the stadium of light is is nil nil. So again, aggressive. I'm far from pleased with what I've seen for this team. Start setting half. See if they see see basically see if a kick up the arse um, gets them to play better. Oviedo swings that free kick in. Unlucky, unlucky. Magic, magic, uh, Magic managed, manages to win a corner. Maguire to swing this ball in. But look, there's no one in the box. There's legit no one in the box from a corner. What is that? Sick. Oviedo. Maguire. Magic. Maguire's on your left hand side. Or not. You're not even. You've got your back turned. Oh, that's fine. Baldwin. Oh, 09. Oviedo's outside. Oviedo is unmarked on the left. Can someone please lift their head and look at him? You're going to go back to Cape, aren't you? Nope. Oviedo. Fi the ball finally arrives at Oviedo's feed. That's a free kick. And I think that's another yellow card and a red. It's going to be. Yes, it is. Ollie Norburn has been sent off. So that's the third red card of the episode. Wow, holy shit. Oviedo to swing this ball in. It's Baldwin. Unlucky. Unlucky, Jack. But we need, we need, we need, we need things to happen. So, I'm going to actually, I can't believe I'm going to be doing this. But Will Griggs going to be coming off and Charlie Wyke's coming on. I'm going to bring Lyndon Gooch on as well for Duncan Watmore. Down the right hand side. I'm also going to bring on Denver Hume for Brian Oviedo. Because Oviedo is on a yellow card. And I don't want him sent off. So that's the three subs. Let's hope they can do something. Maguire to swing this ball in. No. no, no absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh my god. Why is this a thing? 90th minute. Tolyan. McGeoch. 9 Oh, 9 with a shot. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! I now have an eyelash in my eye, but I don't care. Lugo 9 with an absolute banger into the top left-hand corner right when we needed a goal. Like, right when we needed a goal. Absolute clutch from Lugo 9. Absolute clutch. There goes the vinyl whistle. Oh, my God. That was... Mm, unexpected, but we'll take it. 90, 90 plus 2. 90 plus 2. Lugo 9 on his right foot as well. Tell the team that the performance was disappointing. Um, win or not, the performance was unacceptable. Everyone looks fine with that. So we're going to hit continue. I'm actually going to quickly look at my tactics as well. Um, because I'm not I'm not quite happy with how things went this episode. Um, if I'm being brutally honest... Uh, Baldwin has told manage how manager Town Flemish to take up the team locked in the dressing room following the one 0 victory. Absolutely furious with the team's performance and had no uncertain terms how unhappy he was. Why not? But yeah, we'll quickly have a look at the tactics. Um I'm actually gonna low crosses I'm gonna whip I'm gonna change that to whipped crosses um rather than low crosses because if you whip them in then the more the more likely to get a deflection off an opposition player. Um I'm happy with everything else, actually. How narrow, pe like how narrow the team is, the attacking with there, the approach play is absolutely fine. So I'm actually okay with that. I mean, distribution type. You know, I'm again counter regroup. And again, I'm 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 okay with that. Out of possession, stay on feet is absolutely imperative. Um. And obviously preventing the short goalkeeper distribution is also imperative as well. So I'm actually okay with how the tactics are. I just don't understand why we're playing like absolute dog shite. But 1st of January is coming up and those players will be joining Sunderland very, very shortly. So we will be putting them into the team and I'll be showing you the first and second teams once I've done it. All right, guys. And um, this is the team from now on. So this is the first team. Um, sitting here. So we have Timo Horn in goal. We have a back four of Oviedo, Baldwin, Ozturk and Tolian. The two centre mids are Katamol and McGeoch. 
the two wingers are Maguire and Morgan, and the two strikers are Maja and Grigg. If we quickly look at the bench, we've got McLaughlin on the bench, we've got Hume, Flanagan, Honeyman, Mumba, uh, Watmore, and Adams on the bench. So if we quickly look at the second team, this is the new second team. This is the rotation team for when the first team gets tired, and McLaughlin is in goal. We've got Hume, Flanagan, Young, and Love. Uh, Jacob Young is a centre-back from my under-23s. We have Catamol and Mumba as the two centre-mids in the second team. Don't know why Catamol's in the second team as well. I'll fix that later. But Kim Piyaga and Watmore are the two wingers in the second team. And the two strikers are Adams and Mapai. So I'm looking at, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that team. I'm thinking that's a solid team. I'm hoping they perform. Um, because they're gonna, you know, they are going to be in the game now against Blackpool. So I will be playing the second team in the next match against Blackpool. Um, so this is where I'm going to actually end the episode. Um, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Football Manager is back. I will try and do this weekly um, or fortnightly, depending on when I get the time. But it, it is going to continue, you know, slowly doing doing its thing. Um, if you have enjoyed this episode, drop a thumbs up, you greatly appreciate it. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you know when I release new content or go live. In the comment section down below, let me know what you think of the team, how the series is progressing, and how I sound, obviously, because I've got a new microphone and everything, and I need to test, basically, you need to test the sound levels and everything to make sure everything sounds fine. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below about that. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.